What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy channel. We are here in sunny Scottsdale. Well, <laughs> partly sunny. The sun might die in a little bit, but uh, it's very nice here. And we're gonna be talking about a subject that I think is gonna re resonate with a lot of you. So I've talked a lot about texting. And I've talked a lot about like why she won't respond, but in this video, I'm gonna summarize the main reasons why a girl is not responding to your text messages, okay? And they're not always your fault, but the majority of them are. <laughs> so let's get right into it. The first reason is that you are not getting to the point. When you get a girl's number, like a Let's say you get it at the, you know, just around here, like at the mall, or you get it at a bar or something like that. You obviously have to have a reason to get the phone number, okay? If you're just texting her and you're sending her funny shit and you're not really getting to the point, and by point I mean you're not actually asking her out or you're not trying to meet up with her in person, then you are making a mistake and she's gonna kind of get bored. She's gonna, you know, ask herself like, where is this going? Why am I texting this guy? She's gonna get bored and she's gonna leave, okay? So when you get a girl's phone number, get to the point, ask her out on a date. That's the only reason to get the phone number in the first place. Reason number two is you didn't have enough attraction when you first got the phone number, okay? Sometimes girls will be feeling they'll be in a good mood or something like that. They'll be having a good time. Maybe they're a little drunk, who knows? But when you get the phone number, they're feeling good at the time. But then when they look at it later, they're feeling like, ah, uh, you know, like I was feeling good at the time, but I'm just not really into that guy as much as I thought I was. You know, I've even given my number out to girls before um, and not really been that into them. But at the time, I was thinking I was really into them. So a lot of times when you get the phone number, sometimes you know you get it and you know she won't message you later and it's just because you didn't build up enough initial attraction try to get a solid phone number the way you get a solid phone number is make sure she's actually into you before you get that number sometimes if you ask for the phone number too quickly a lot of these women might be like oh he's kind of cute and they might give it to you but it's not a solid phone number to get try spending more time with them the longer time that you spend with a girl and then she gives you your phone number at the end of it the more likely she's gonna message you back reason number three is she's busy or distracted okay look man not everything is your fault sometimes women have a busy life you know they're at work or something like that they see your message and they think okay um, I'll respond to it later okay I, this happens to me all the time like if I get a text message from someone even if it's a girl that I really really like if I'm in the middle of something I'm gonna take the time to probably respond to it uh, later when I actually have a moment but at that point in time, I don't have a whole lot of time, so I'm just gonna do it later. And sometimes, here's the thing about this, guys, sometimes she might be so distracted that she'll see the message and because she's read it, she might not, um, she might not respond it again because she's, she's forgotten about it, okay? I've done this with girls that I really like. Girls have done this who really liked me that it ended up working out. Don't sweat it, just follow up with them later, okay, if that's the case. But if it's been a while and you've sent another message and she hasn't responded, it's probably time maybe to find some other girls. Reason number four is you are being too needy over your messages, okay? A lot of guys when they're sending messages, they're, they're, so, they're so preoccupied with trying to get that girl to respond that they forget why they're messaging them in the first place, okay? You're seeing if she's interested and you're seeing if she's gonna come out on a date with you. If she senses that you need her to respond to your messages in order for you to feel good or something like that, then she's probably not going to do it. You have to have the mentality, you have to have the aloofness that if it doesn't work out, there are other options out there for you and it's not that big of a deal. If you have this mindset, then it's more likely she's gonna respond. And a lot of times I see guys, even though they think that they're not having this over text messages, uh, sometimes they are. So if you're sending these messages, try and keep it short and concise and to the point. Don't try and like, you know, if you like, let's, I'll, I'll give an example. So sometimes guys will send a message and then they'll send another message clarifying the first message and then they'll send another message clarifying the message after that. Like you're spending way too much time trying to make sure this girl, uh, understands what you're saying like you're being that's a little too needy in my opinion because look if she doesn't understand she'll tell you like you don't have to go breaking your back and try and make sure that this woman understands your message that in my opinion is like a needy way of saying things reason number five is she's thinking about what she's want she wants to say so the classic example of this is like you're sending a bunch of text messages back and forth and then eventually you ask her out and then she kind of goes a little bit silent after that okay most of the time if she's like kind of on the fence and she's like doesn't know if she wants to do it, that's why she's waiting. So she's thinking about whether she wants to go on the date with you, okay? So just chill out, relax, have, you know, do something else, try and get your mind off of it, but don't preoccupy yourself with like, oh, she's not responding to me, this is bad, and then you send another message, and then you send another message, okay. Give her some time, give her some space to think about it, 
if you have other options, this is not gonna be too big of a deal for you. But a lot of times if I see a message from a girl that I'm into and she's asking me to go to this thing, sometimes I gotta check my schedule. Sometimes I gotta see if I'm available. She's probably doing the same thing. And the last reason is if you've been texting someone back and forth for a while and it seems like it's she's really interested in you, she really likes you, and then for some reason she just drops off completely, well, probably what happened is that she found another dude that she's into more. This cl the classic example of this is you get a girl's phone number and she travels to a, another area for a little bit. Or maybe she goes on a cruise or maybe she like you know moves moves places slightly she probably met another dude in that place that she went to and she's more interested in him or they have a better connection or maybe you spent more time with her I don't know whatever the reason is there's another dude in the picture and you should move on so the way you find out about these sorts of things is if she doesn't respond to your message send another follow-up message and if she doesn't respond to that let it go it's okay maybe she'll come around in the end maybe she won't but you have to have the mentality where there are other options for you I always recommend that guys be talking to at least three girls at a time okay but three to five I think is a good number if you have those options you're not going to be suffering from a lot of these things that I'm talking about. You're not going to be seen as too needy. You're not going to be seen as a guy who's like constantly needs her validation. And you're going to be a lot more attractive because women like a guy who has options. They don't like a guy where the person feels like they're their only option and that's why they're going for them. They're not gonna go for that. So be talking to three to five girls and a lot of these will get eliminated for you. As well, even if you don't have a whole lot of options, have something better to do than texting this one girl, okay? Be on your purpose, be bettering yourself. Make sure that you are bettering yourself and that's the number one goal. Don't make your number one goal to get this one girl because that's a loser strategy and that's a strategy that's not very effective even if your sole purpose is to get that one girl. So have some other stuff going on, you guys. Um, that's the end of this video. These are the main reasons. If you thought of any other reasons uh, about why girls aren't responding to your messages, put them in the comments section below. Would love to get a discussion going on this. But these are the main ones that I've seen, so these are the ones to watch out for and how to avoid them. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there. If you're just in my weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I basically get able to tell you why these girls aren't responding to you, if you clarify the situation, I'll be able to like, we'll be able to break it down. We'll be able to figure out what's going on because sometimes you're making mistakes that you're not even seeing, and it helps to have some other guy helping you out to watch out for those things. If you're interested in that, shoot me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. Thanks a lot, y'all. Good luck out there.